So I wanted to make a quick video about the open OneDrive protocol. And this was something I noticed when I had DevTools open um, accidentally and clicked the sync button to launch the OneDrive client. It, it does a pop-up dialog here. It launches a pop-up dialog here, getting ready to sync. And you see the open OneDrive button uh, from your web browser. But what's happening in the background is this guy in red. I said, yeah, oh, well, what's this? What's this weird failed transaction in red? And it's showing canceled. And if I click on it and do a right click copy link address, what I see coming through is this. It starts with OD open. OneDrive open. Very interesting. Yeah, you can just hover it and you can see it there from the, the hover. OD open is what launches OneDrive. And then there's a ton of different parameters and data coming in after it. So it's like, oh, okay, this is interesting. Something new. So we'll go ahead and take that and we'll do a replace extended to add some line breaks. Interesting. And we can see that there's actually 14 parameters. Launching the Fiddler utility, you can press Control E for a text conversion. You can go ahead and paste in the text that you have and do a URL decode. And what this will do is take all of the, the funny URL escape sequences and bring it into something that's a little bit easier to read. So here we can see the percent two Ds are turned into dashes. Uh, we have braces on the GUID numbers for the list, web, and site. We've got user parameters for email address and also for a user GUID. So, I mean, it's really scoping to the site, the web, the list, and then handing over some context about who the user is. And these are the parameters used to initialize the OneDrive client for what library we want to sync. And it's really the passing of the baton from the web world, clicking a link, into the desktop world. And what the local OS can do is register these custom URL handlers that for OD open, go talk to OneDrive.exe and for other prefixes, send them to other applications. But I never really looked into what happens when you click on the sync button for OneDrive. I had no idea it's sending 14 parameters and coming in here to do the decode and line break and really kind of enumerate all of them. It's Absolutely fascinating. This is the context being sent over. So if you ever want to create a custom sync button that does maybe a library from a team site, uh, it seems you could use the entirely same method. You would just replace out these GUID numbers and maybe use something like uh, PMPJS to go look up the GUID number of a team site, maybe to go sync with the OneDrive client. So wanted to share the notes on that kind of interesting find and thanks for watching.